So, I'm not the biggest fan of sci-fi. That, I just said, there you go. I said it. I know. That might be controversial. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. If you were to put, you know, two games in front of me and one was fantasy and one was sci-fi, I would typically pick the fantasy game. That's just, you know, that's just how I am. I grew up with a lot of fantasy games and, you know, I didn't really touch things like, like Halo or anything like that where it was more sci-fi oriented. I like stuff like Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance and Legend of Zelda and things more along that vein. But in recent years, I actually have been getting into sci-fi. You know, it's, it's been a little funny. Um, I've been slowly enjoying it more and more. Not too long ago, I played Outer Wilds. I think that was the game that really, like, sucked me in. I was like, oh... This is beautiful. This is amazing. Is that a banjo? Yes. I also gave Outer Worlds a try. And honestly, I love that. It was funny. It kind of felt like Skyrim, but it wasn't Skyrim because it was, you know, all space themed, you know. And that's really about the most sci-fi that I've played. But today we're looking at Journey to the Savage Planet, which was actually recommended by one of my subscribers. So I just wanted to say thank you, Leon Dratz Idis. When you recommended the game and I watched the trailer, just the biggest smile went across my face. I was like, this looks so fun. There were elements of grappling, grapple hooks I saw, and the animals looked fun. It just, it, it sucked me in. And I was like, yes, we're doing this. We're going to give this a try. So I'll stop rambling. Let's jump into it. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the game. Okay, Journey to the Savage Planet it has very positive reviews. It also has a lot of positive reviews. Over 4,000. Nice. It was released January 28th, 2021, developed by Typhoon and published by 505 Games. It is an adventure action exploration action adventure. <laughs> that always kills me when they tuck those two together. Like, just get rid of that. Keep that. Just keep action adventure. Throw away adventure. It's, ah, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's, 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 I'll, I'll step away from that. Let's read the little description. Welcome to the Pioneer Program. As the newest recruit of Kindred Aerospace, the fourth best interstellar space exploration company, your job is to determine if the planet Airy, AR, AR, ARY-26 planet. What? Double planet? 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 <sighs> your job is to determine if the planet ARY-26 planet is fit for humans. You may be short on equipment and experience, but you'll figure it out. Good luck. And the funny thing, this thing is on sale right now. Oh, I guess just, okay. By the time I publish this video, it's not going to be on sale anymore. But it was on sale for $8.99. And uh, let's see right there under that, $29.99. That's the original price. We'll see if it's worth it. So in this little let's start. And I say it's sci-fi. It has a sci-fi vibe to it. I feel like when people hear sci-fi, they think more Star Trek and Star Wars. And this is more like we're on a planet and we're exploring it. So it's, you know, it's, eh, 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 it's sci-fi. We're, we're, it's sci-fi. It, yeah. So without further ado, because we should probably just start. In fact, I think let's start. Okay, so really quick before we start, I saw that it said cooperative right here and I got all excited. It was like, oh, is it split screen? No, it's not split screen, but you can still play online with friends, so that's cool. But uh, we're going to just do single player. Yep. Let's do normal. Hi, oh. my name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. Ah, I can hear him better out here, but not in there. Is there a different spot to watch? For almost 30 years, right there. Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now 
To the stars! Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ERY-26. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny-weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. Man, I really want to talk during stuff like that, but the issue is, it's like, I want you guys to be able to listen and hear things. Also, I wanted to laugh a couple times, because that, that felt pretty funny. Uh, it definitely feels like Please they're going take with some the comedy the here. Otherwise, I can't open the door. Okay. Or turn on the lights or feed you. Okay, where's the computer? I'm sorry. Is it down here? No, it's a teleport bay. Where's the... Is it this? This looks like a... Yep. Kindred CPU, best in the world, memory 64, Kindred Technologies. Okay, so greetings, looks like you made it, good job. As per your Kindred Employee Experience Program, benefit contract, you're a contractor obligated to submit regular points during your mission. Let's begin, okay. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? I feel like we have to go with the dog. Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you for your time, Explorer number number uh, J75X321. This is the end of your report. Please press the submit button. Send your answers. You can't your chance and press enjoy your adventure and stay alive. You know, it's fun when you see games like this where they have like the whole computer terminal up. Like, th like they put in the effort to basically make a web page. And, you know, it, I think that's kind of cool. Okay, we're checking out messages. Welcome from Kindred Aerospace. Uh, from Kindred Aerospace. Greetings, explorer name here. Welcome your first day of your great adventure. We could not be more excited to welcome you to the planet. Name here. So it's all very just copy and paste. That's wonderful. As a keen member of Kindred's quest to explore the stars, it is imperative that brave people such as yourself turn over every rock, every scan, every blade of grass, and dig the precise crafting ingredients from the innards of every beast you encounter. So that our database may grow and humanity may continue to expand across the infinite reach of space. Humanity has been trapped on Earth for the entirety of its existence. We can be bigger. We can be more. Help us get there. Sincerely yours, Martin Tweed, founder and CEO. You know, did anyone else and notice? Now you're ready to explore. Oh. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. Oh, that's cool. We're already here. Oh, di oh, wait, really quick before I go. Did anyone else notice that when they put down, it said like, it said AR dash Y nine, whatever the number was it, when we were reading the little, uh, like dialogue thing, when I was looking at the page, it, it had the dash in a different spot. It had the dash between the letters and the numbers. So, huh? Interesting. All right. Teleportation. Fun. Uh, E to use teleporter. Cool, we're already outside. I love it. Uh, you know, this is, let's see. Oh, it's a big battery. Nope, it's a garbage can. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Hooray. <laughs> to aid in your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please okay. launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Hey, it's the little chickens that we saw earlier. They got little tusks. That's fun. Oh, they look, they're super adorable. Well, I should say that their big eyes are adorable. They're kind of creepy. Can I go through this? Nope. Uh... Okay. Oh, it wants me to look at my journal. All right. Uh, landing protocol, secondary, junior explorer, kindred, character. That's fun. That's us. Yay. Journal. Uh, I guess this is our goals. So landing, uh, launch the cartographers. Mission tracked. Okay. Uh, let's go get the, uh, the little... Yep, let's go back, I guess, to the ship and get the, the stuff. Huh. Okay. Is it around the back? right here no way we already have to go back inside 
Really? That's, uh... Oh, wait, what's this? Huh. Sweet! Oh! I think we sounded like a dog. Great. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. The jabal is pretty banged up. But you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang up -edness. Do that now. All right, let's do it. Don't forget right. to continually scan your surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ, which will send you blueprints for stuff. Then you can collect stuff to make the stuff in the blueprints, and that stuff will help you survive against the stuff you took pictures of. Okay. Okay, let's... Hold that. This exterior and... panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Geez, she talks a lot. I, uh, y y you guys might hear me. Can I crouch? Oh, seize the crouch. Just gotta read, uh, the instructions on the screen. Oh, geez, what was that? Oh, I guess E is to slap. Oh, I might skip past some of her dialogue, though. She, she's talking a lot. Okay, uh, tag. Let's get this. Scan it. That's okay. Ah, huh. uh, there is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, wait. Here, when I jump. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're a dog. That's funny. I enjoy that. Oh, yeah, we're panting like a dog. That's hilarious. Something else up here? Maybe I need to do some more scanning? Oh, wait, right there. Scan it. That's not supposed to look like that. Okay. It's being pretty sassy with us, in short. That's fine. Oh, jeez. Um, I don't know what we're supposed to do now. This is very... Maybe this still? Uh, tab again. I don't know. Uh, let's look. Uh, shows tracked mission objective if we look at Z. Okay. All right, so scan it. Uh, put it back together, I guess. Oh, wait, no. Maybe there's something around back. Scan in the back, right? Oh, that looks... That's wires. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations. You're home already. Eh, she's funny. I wouldn't say, like, laugh out loud funny, but, uh, you know, it's interesting enough dialogue. It's got me, you know, I don't hate her. I, mean, I kind of hate her because she's horrible. I am detecting a fortuitously fragile surface nearby. Please scan to confirm. But, you know, horrible in a good way. Ah, uh, scan button. There we go. Here we, yeah. These crystals look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. Okay, so we're getting resources from the local fauna. Sorry, I'm gonna skip through a lot of her dialogue. It's she's um, it's fine. I don't know, she's fine. Oh, slap or kick. Oh, there we go. Can I pick you up? Do I just need to walk over you? Um, that's not really doing anything for me. Uh, maybe I gotta slap this. Oh, there we go. Maybe I can slap this? Come on. Come on. No, I, that was nothing. Couldn't do anything. <laughs> I am loving the fact that because I picked dog man, I am now a dog man. I mean, it, it's funny. Teleporter's clever too. Teleporter's a nice way to load a stage. I like that. That was smart. Jeez. The grab and go superlicious mega morphological food base from Suckage Bar. No, I'm good. Four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier. I'm good. Yeah, I had, uh, I had to skip through that. That was... Uh, you know, 
th- when you get a bunch of like ads and stuff like that, they're funny. But when you're like reviewing a game like this, like trying to show stuff, it makes it hard because you can't talk. But that's kind of cool. We learned that this is our food. Metaphor, metamorphological food paste. Okay, but let's use the printer. All right, what did we need? Oh, there's not too many weapons and items that we need to get. I mean that in a good way. Fixer upper. All right, let's get it. Uh, we need... What do we need? I don't know what that is. Huh. Do we have the fixer upper already? I'm, I'm actually really confused. Okay, we're going this way. We're going to smack the crap out of this. If we can. Sweet. All right, what do we need? What's the resource? This? You got to move, dude. Oh, no. Do I have to kill these things? I'm sorry, dude. Oh! Oh, that was just cruel. Hey, look at that. You picked up some carbon. Good for you. Oh, we have to kill carbon-based life forms? No! Oh! Oh! Nice work. You have collected enough carbon to craft a basic Nomad Plasma pistol. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. <laughs> I didn't like that. You can't put something that's like kind of cute but not cute in a game and then have me kill it. Every time you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Okay. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. Ha ha. Beat scraps back and bristle. All right, cool. So let's uh let's make the uh fixture upper, right? That's what we're calling it. Nomad pistol. Sick. Now you've got a weapon. The single most important tool for any colonizer. All right, here we go. We got a gun. Oh yeah, sweet. We're able to break all that crap. Cool. <sighs> Finally, we get to go explore more stuff. <gasps> the dog thing is hilarious to me. Jeez, are we getting anything from breaking these? I don't know. <gasps> Climb. Here we go and jump. Oh, we made it. Sick. Okay, here we go. Ah, I'm getting it stuck. It may sound weird, no. but do you see a large tower moving above you? Yes. I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. Huh. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Yeah, I'm going to keep exploring. I'm sorry. but I'm not going to just wait. That is cool, though. Oh, that means that they're... Uh, that makes me think of Castle in the Sky. You ever seen Castle in the, in the Sky? You know, it's a Studio Ghibli film. I remember I found out that Howl's Moving Castle was based off of a book. I have received I, I an urgent book. message uh, regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the Habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. I won't lie. I feel kind of bad. They're so cute and so full of juice. Exactly. Well, not the juice part. I don't, well, that's kind of gross. We're all full of juice. But they're pretty cute and it feels weird killing them. Like, but if we want to get weapons and stuff, we have to kill them. That's kind of horrible. I guess that's most games though. Whoa, that's fun. I like that. Oh, this feels like a death cave. Like we go down there and there's something worse. Mm. Not doing it. Uh, wait. When we run, I swear our gun has duct tape holding it together. Oh no, it just says fourth best. You're right there, fourth best. That's cool. Okay, this is pretty cool. I'm detecting um, a nearby organic compound which may be useful on our exploration effort. Please scan it. Nearby organic compound. Okay, there we go. Ooh, this is like when something something's gonna come up. No! No! There's a lot of red arrows. I don't know what's attacking me. Oh! That's fun. Wait. Oh. Okay. 
Let's get the little carbon or whatever it's called. This stuff's probably not carbon. What is this? Silicon. It's a silicon based life form. That's fun. Nope, I can't hit it because I'm bad at aiming, I guess. Nope! Sweet. Alright, back up there. Let's figure out what that was. I kind of don't even want to continue the story. I just kind of want to explore because it's just so cool. It's a very interesting world. It says eat. Uh, I guess scan it first, right? Hmm. I believe that mixing that orange substance with your oxygen supply may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. Well, of course I'm going to eat it. Please remain calm. I am monitoring your physical response. Okay. All is as predicted. I am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. Ooh. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. <gasps> There's something down there. It's like a little... Did I hit something? Oh, wait. There's things over there. Oh, it's little chicken things. Can I hit it? No, there's something right there. What is that? Oh, I got it. I got it again. It's like a little raptor chicken thing. Cool. Oh, this is a cool world, though. Let's go find some other fun stuff. Oh, hey, there's another, like, health thingy over there. Let's, let's check it out. All right, let's see. Eat, and we're good. Does that give me more health, or is that, like, just HP? I'm not sure. Oh, some of these look different. This one looks different. Looks like it's gonna pop. Might wanna get back. Oh no! Oh, I can't move. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh! Wow. That one was juicy. Bonus loot. If by bonus loot you mean death. Hey, buddy. So you died. And I made a clone of you that shares your memories. Oh. Listen, just don't overthink this. Our bioprinting is accurate to 99.1%. So as long as you don't die 49 more times, it's all good. That's a that's a little huh. I I like it. Hello. It's dark. Is thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey. Hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So, I hear you've arrived on ARY26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity. After all. I need you to transmit this data directly to me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. Well, okay. That's cool. I like that the story is being given through those little, like, video clips. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything? Aluminum, carbon, silicone, alloy. I died, so I lost everything. Dang it! Maybe I can go find my corpse, though. Maybe I got all my stuff. Yeah, there's a little loot thing. Let's go get my stuff from my corpse. Oh, is that my stuff right there? Whoa. That's fun. Uh, oh, nope. Jeez. Uh, kindred property. My resources. Yes. Oh, dang, yes. That's cool. I hope we meet one of those. That'd be sick. I guess Borderlands is also kind of like that. They've got big monsters, though, that you don't always get to see or interact with, which, you know, like the remains of, like, big monsters. Oh, there we go. Borderlands is, a. Uh... Ah! Let me through! 
Yeah, Borderlands is a sci-fi game, technically. It just doesn't necessarily feel like it because it's so... How do I put it? Feels more like a post-apocalyptic kind of game, but it's not. It's sci-fi. Ooh, what was that? Something big. I don't see anything else right now. Huh. Oh, come on. Where is that thing? Oh, I thought we were on the ground. We're floating. That's that's something interesting. I actually don't know if I like that. Floating island versus just big, you know, big world. I guess it's a way to keep us in one space, though. Nope, 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 no! Hey, that's cool. We got saved by the little drone. I like it. It is always fun when you're able to kind of explain why something is a certain way without, uh, you know, breaking, like, the, the laws and physics of the land, I guess. There's no way I'm getting... Oh, wait, no. There's a way. Right here. Let's do it. Ah, the squid boys are coming for me. Ooh, what's this little dude? Oh, that's cool. Oh, come on. Oh, can I eat my grub? No, no, it's not working. Oh, oh, those are health. I was wondering what the little bean things were. It's just a bunch of health. I don't care about killing these jelly dudes. They honestly suck. Ooh, and that eyeball. Ooh. The little four-headed axe beaks, though, are, they're doing their thing. I bet they're like aluminum-based life forms or something like that. All right, here we go. There's something. What's that? Berries. Oh, cool. We find what appears to be an alien feces, and your first instinct is to just pick it right up. I mean... I think we could use it as a sort of natural adhesive, so... I guess we're flinging poop now? I don't get it. This planet was supposed to be devoid of intelligent life, but these structures... Why don't you scan this one? Yeah, this is this is fun. Alien life forms. I like it. Scanning. Scanning. Looks like some sort of transport device. If you turn it back on, we can kill you here and make a clone of you at another one you've activated. Or, sorry, I'm supposed to say teleport. <sighs> that's like the fear of teleportation. Is it just killing us? Like, so that's cool that they, like, you know, they touch on that. Before you jump in, Kinder says I need to read you a 400-page waiver absolving them of all responsibility. <laughs> I speed read it. Huh. All right, let's do it. Towering crystals outside the chapel. No, 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 no. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Here, let's. No, E teleport. Towering crystals. Let's do it. All right, we're back. I don't know where we're going, but we're back. Uh, that's, I guess, what we're trying to get to. Let's. Let's get over there. There we go, okay. How exciting. Even more exciting is the fact that the cartographers have detected a trap fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for basic jump pack. Please use all possible methods to investigate. So I guess we're looking for fuel for a jet pack now. Uh, let's, uh, what is it, see to crouch? Oh, sweet, let's go. There we go, is that, that's probably it, I think. <laughs> Okay, do I just hold it now? Is that it? Is that all we needed? I don't think so. Something. I, I need to go somewhere else, I think. We're gonna get killed by something. Ah. Uh. Oh, sick! I don't know what. Ah, that's fine. Oh, that thing up there is a flashlight. So that's fun. Oh, I like that. We should definitely have a flashlight, but I can't get up there without a jetpack. There's no way. Um, it's saying I need to go that way, but I can't go any farther, I don't think. All right, we'll head back out for a second. I mean, and we're going to end in a minute anyway. It's it's uh, it's getting, yeah, it, we, I, we've been playing this for a minute. We're close to 40.
something's rumbling. I just don't know what. Oh. I think the biggest upside for this game so far has been it's an interesting little world. Okay, dude. Oh. What is that? I hope those noises, like the is not like just a, I don't know, just like ambient sound. Yeah, there it is again. It's got to be a real monster of some sort. Or alien, I should say. Ooh, a crystal cavern. Let's do it. Let's delve deep. Boom. Cayenne's Icy Refuge. You know, where did these names come from? Who named these areas? We're the first people here, so we gotta be coming up with the names. Anything good in here? Uh, Puffer's Den of R Respite. Yeah, I believe it's Respite. Which I believe is just a, another word for, like, rest. I could be wrong, though. When you don't know a word, it is always good to look it up and try to learn the meaning. That's actually a good point. Five seconds. Okay, here, let's eat this really quick. Yep, health up. And I got another little bar up in the corner. Sweet. Good news, bad news. Good news is those things you ate made you way harder to kill. Bad news is you're harder to kill because most of your bones have been replaced with rock-hard space tumors. Good news. Potential partners dig tumors. Or so I hear. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, respite or respite. I believe it's respite. No, respite? I think it's respite. But it means a short period of rest or relief from something difficult or unpleasant. That's at least the noun for it. Oh, yeah, it's respite. I just, I, I listened to one of those little, like, Google things that are all like, this is how you say it. And it said respite. So, respite. Again, I love that I'm a little, I'm a little dog. Oh no! Go, 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 go! Go! Run, dude, run! Ah. Let's go back to the ship for just a second. Would have been nice if I could have teleported. Or I guess died and been recorporealized, 3D printed, bio 3D printed. It's an interesting thing. You know, I hear people talk about uh, lab grown meat. Doesn't sound like something I'd want to eat, but uh, people are also like making it illegal to even make it. I don't know enough about the subject, so I don't want to weigh too heavily in on it, honestly. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can make anything. Oh, the backpack. The backpack. Uh, let's see. Required element dis undiscovered. So I never figured it out. I gotta find it. Am I going to find it? I guess let's go look. Maybe it's the alien alloy that we were talk that we were looking for. This one right here. It says alien alloy. I've got zero of it. It's purple. <gasps> let's go kill the chicken. I guess I was calling it the four-headed axe beak. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Biosigns nominal. 81 degrees. Is that Fahrenheit or Celsius? I, I feel like it's got to be Fahrenheit. But I guess with it being an alien planet, maybe it's Celsius. Um... I don't know. Do 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 do. It's probably it's 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 probably Fahrenheit. Ooh, what is that thing? Do you guys see that red up there? Right there? Huh. It, it, there's no way I'm gonna shoot it, but that's interesting. I wonder what that is. Oh, there's a green one too. Huh. Oh, there's another one, red one right there. Hmm. They're probably just fun things to look at. I, I mean, I'm not too sure, but eh. We'll see. We'll figure it out. I was very much going the wrong way. Okay, let's uh, go down the pit. Oh, jeez. That actually wasn't too bad. Tumor bones, though. That sucks. Okay, chicken, chicken, chicken. There's the chicken. Let's kill it. 
Oh, no. This one's purple. No. Not the right carbon. Or I guess alien alloy. Oh, maybe it's that stuff up there? I'm not sure. I don't think I can get up there. Let's try. Whoa! Nope. I don't want to deal with you, jelly man. Wait, is this like a face? Like an alien? Like... I feel like I see tentacles like Cthulhu. Huh. Oh, no! Uh. Huh. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's teleport. I think we're going to call it in a second, because this has been a long enough, like, let's start. One minute, though. Ah, there we go. That's pretty picturesque. I like it. Uh, we'll we'll do a little little quick review right here. I mean, all in all, it, it's pretty interesting. I uh, I can't say that I hate this game. I definitely feel like I like it. I definitely want to get a little bit farther in it. I don't know how to put that. I mean, a lot of stuff has like grabbed me. Like, look it up there. You can kind of see the faces of like probably what the aliens look like. They're sort of like skull-ish looking. So, I mean, maybe they're just masks. I don't know. Dang, that tower goes up pretty high, actually. Hmm. Gameplay-wise, I haven't had any problems with it. Shooting's been fine. Jumping's been fine. Uh, it, it hasn't been bad in any way or form. I haven't had any issues with this game at all. The monsters have been interesting. I, I keep saying monsters. They're the enemies. I guess they're monsters. Whenever it's a game like this and they're aliens, I just want to say aliens more than monsters. But I guess monster is just another word for enemy. That's really all it is. So I looked up online, though, how long it roughly is, uh, this game takes to beat, and it says it's roughly about 11 hours. So, I mean, 30 bucks for a game like this, 11 hours of gameplay, and, like, having all this fun exploration, that, that feels worth it to me. I, you know, I have not been disappointed at all yet. I think my only disappointment was not getting it to see, like, the monster that was making that noise, or get farther and explore more, but that's just because I, I'm, we're doing a quick let's start. I, I'm not able to, like, give it a ton of attention and go search for everything. All, all that these let's starts are is just seeing the beginning of the game and kind of helping people to get an idea of whether or not this is a game that they'd like to play and, like, get sucked into and go buy for themselves, see whether it's worth it or not. 30 bucks... 11 hours of gameplay. I'll be honest, I'm not completely sold. I feel like I would definitely snag this for around 20 bucks, 100%. But, uh, you know, 30 bucks is, I don't know. I definitely don't feel bad spending the 8.99 for it. 30 bucks feels like it might be a little much for what this is. I feel like, I feel like Outer Wilds is like 30 bucks with a DLC. And that game is, you know, absolutely amazing. Oh, jeez, hey little dude. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> nope. Yes. Nice. Love that. And I think that's part of it. This it hasn't been a bad game. It's been a very interesting game. I don't think you would go wrong spending 30 bucks on this game. If you saw it for 20 bucks or less, I definitely would snag it for less than that. But, you know, 30 bucks isn't horrible for it. I'm just happy I snagged it for $8.99. Like, that was a pretty good deal for this. I definitely feel like this game, $8.99, is worth it for this game. I, I wish I could see more. I feel like I would have had a lot more fun playing it by myself and not, like, streaming it for you guys because the dialogue kind of just got me frustrated. But that's that's more of, like, a YouTuber problem and not, like, a, a gameplay problem. That's just me having issues with, you know, having to balance the dialogue with my, you know, my dialogue. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. I will say thank you again to Leon Dratz Edis for recommending this game. Because this is... I appreciate it. This was a fun game. I have honestly really enjoyed this. It, there's all these other like items that we're going to get to check out later. Like grappling hooks and jetpacks and stuff. And I wish I could have got a little bit farther and seen more of that stuff and shown it to you guys. But just know that that stuff is coming in the game. I don't know how the gameplay works or how great it is. But... It definitely looks like it's a, a fun concept and a fun, like, thing to do within this game. I definitely love, like, what's it called? I, I love um, hook shots or uh, grappling hooks. I mean, you, if anyone's seen my Grim Hook playthrough that I did, my Grim Hook Let's Start, like, you know how much I love that, the wall running and the, the grappling hooks. Like, that was amazing. All right, everyone. Thank you again, uh, you know, for joining us for this Let's Start. The, uh, 
journey to the savage planet. This this was fun. This was this was I, I enjoyed this. And I hope you guys enjoyed it at least in some way. Or now have formulated a little bit of opinion of an opinion on this game and have decided whether or not you want to play it. So anyway, we'll catch you guys next time. Again, thank you all for tuning in and uh we'll see you later. Bye.